Hello everyone, my name is Amar Junaid and in this video I want to introduce you to this great add-on for retopology in Blender. This is a free add-on, it's called Speed Retopo and you will find a link to it in the description below. This add-on is not suitable for beginners as it requires some prior knowledge about the UI of Blender and also different uh, terminologies within the Blender software. So let's start. When you will follow the download link for this add-on on Gumroad and you get to this download page, you can see that there are different versions available. And the one that I recommend is this one, which is version 0.4 for Blender 2.81. This is the one that I uh, have tested and found to be working in almost all the cases. The version for 2.82 has still some bugs in it and I have not tested the version with 2.80 and the blender version that I'm using is uh, 2.81a so let's install this add-on go to edit preferences and add-ons click on install and go to where you have downloaded this add-on and just install it by selecting the pi file so let's open it up here and go to its settings so these settings are the global settings for this add-on and which means that they are the settings this add-on would use for a new Blender file. This is the name that will appear on the panel for this add-on. So this one here and I will explain all of these other settings when I show you how the add-on works. And let's go to the panel of this add-on and it is already telling us that an object needs to be selected. So let's select our object here. You can already see some settings here which are similar to the settings that you saw in the preferences add-on menu. And these are the local settings for this add-on which means that these settings will only uh, reflect what's happening in this Blender file. So these settings tell us how our retopo will start. So the first option is to add a mirror modifier to the retopo mesh which is really helpful when we are working with a mesh which is mirrored across itself like this mesh here then is the option to add a shrink wrap modifier and this is very important for retopo as it makes sure that the new mesh that you create actually sticks on to the original mesh so all of these settings are also present somewhere else in blender in their own panels and menus but this add-on just uh, groups together all the settings that are necessary for retopology so now let's start with retopo, uh, select B surface here and start retopo. So the panel is changed now. Uh, this is the name of the object that we are doing the retopology for. It has created a new mesh here by the name of retopo mesh. It has added the shrink wrap modifier and selected the original object as the target for shrink wrap. It has turned on snapping so that the new vertices or the new surfaces stick to the original mesh and it has some new tools here which I will explain to you next. Now to get started press and hold D and draw some lines on your surface using the mouse click and if you want to remove these lines just click with the right click. and click add B surface so it has added a new surface based on the lines and the settings for this surface you can change them here if you want more detail or not and you can play around with that here this has actually been done uh, using another add-on called B surface add-on and this uh, speed retopo add-on uh, installs it along with itself and the settings for it you can find it here in this edit panel if you want to change them so the new surface now sits perfectly on the original mesh one thing that you can do to make it a little better is to turn on this project in visual elements in snap settings and turn on rotate and scale this way when you rotate scale or move a vertex it will uh, keep sticking to the original mesh so for the next step let's align these vertices to the x-axis by clicking this button here 
and add a mirror modifier so that our new mesh new surface is mirrored on the other side also so add mirror and it looks perfect you can use this shrink wrap offset value here to create some distance between your original mesh and the new surface like so I will just reset it to 0 0.01 you can also add a subsurf modifier and what it does is that it gives your mesh a little more detail but you have to go out to edit uh, go out of the edit mode to see it also you can see in your properties panel here that it has added all the modifiers that we were already working with inside the add-on one tip here go to edit mode and turn on this button here to see the final result of your retopologized mesh it makes it a bit slow uh, but it is a good option to see the result of your retopologized mesh you can quickly uh, turn it off from here in the add-on and you can also increase the levels I will reset it to 3 for now. Also, I have noticed that if you change the subdivision method from Katmul Clark to simple, then it gives a little better result. So if you're not happy with so if you're not happy with your the placement of your vertices, you can quickly move them around like you can always do in edit mode and you can see that it really gives you the feeling of wrapping a cloth around your original mesh I will turn off the subsurface for now and add some new lines and let's clip these vertices here and add the surface and let's turn on the show subsurface now and it looks really good one thing to really take care is to always add the lines in the same direction for example if I do it like this that I add a line like so and then add a line from the other direction click the vertices add B surface and because of the wrong direction it will create the wrong, wrong faces between the vertices so you need to be careful with that so let's undo it add some new lines here add the surface let's see how it looks it looks fine one other cool thing about this add-on is that you also get a very cool pie menu with all these options so you can hide this menu here and shift and right click and you can see that it has all the same options here this this is the subsurface hide and show so click on it this works the same way add the surface so i can add a new line here and go to the pie menu and add the surface this doesn't look okay so just take them to the middle and they will snap to each other so you can see that this add-on is really good in getting all the retopology related operations in one place so these tools are the same that you can find in other menus in blender like this bridge and grid fill from the face operations auto merge is the setting for auto merging uh, the vertices or any objects that are close together recalculate normals comes from the mesh menu here in front will make sure that your object is always drawn in front of other objects so you can see that it's also visible from the back side hidden wire will uh, hide the surface so that you can see the original mesh back face culling will not 
work but if we undo the hidden wire then you can see that the back faces are not drawn and wireframe will show the wire even if you are not in edit mode like this so I also want to talk about a little bug here this shrink wrap offset doesn't always work correctly because this B surfaces menu here also has a shrink wrap offset and this is actually what's taken and only after you have created a new surface and you will change something here then this will uh, affect the shrink wrap modifier here so this is something to keep mind when working with it so you can quickly add new surfaces here let's do it surface let's quickly turn on subsurface to see how it looks and you can add new lines to connect to the already drawn surface just click the vertices add B surface and it looks good and just fill it here as well yes and use bridge So you can see that the workflow is really intuitive and fast. I myself has experienced at least uh, twice the speed in my workflow uh, with this add-on. Something that I didn't mention is that you can also start your retopo with vertex or polywind. Uh, I didn't try them and I didn't find them very intuitive but you can have a look at them in the video uh, from the creator of this add-on which i have provided a link in the description below and if it works for you then you can try them one another issue is that you open the file again then the b surfaces won't be added correctly so if i could just create a new file and then open the same file again let's click the retopo mesh go to edit mode create a node line here create these vertices and add B surface it doesn't work so what you need to do in this case is that go to edit mode add the reference object here which has gone for some reason and go to the B surface edit tab here and you need to select your mesh the retopo mesh which is this one and go to edit mode again create the line again just remove it so you can uh, remove the line by D and right click and you can see that it works now so in this video I have shown you this great add-on which can really accelerate your workflow. If you have any questions or comments please uh, write them below and until next time.
बाय बाय